Okay. Um, I was just reading about the uh, Declaration of Independence and stuff. Okay, well, while Lincoln was trying, there was some slaves that was not being let go to retire. And they complained to Lincoln at that time that their masters were overworking them past the allotted time for a slave to work. And that's why Abraham Lincoln came to their aid. But I also read that the Declaration of Independence that Abraham Lincoln wrote is not by all means um, a declaration to abolish slavery, but rather to, t to be ready to take up arms lest this issue be brought forth again. Um, when I read that, I was like, wow, because this whole time I thought that Abraham Lincoln had freed the God forsaken slaves. <laughs> well, turns out that he didn't. It was just for his time period because a lot of the masters at that time, slave owners, were making the slaves work themselves to death past the contractual time. Um, well, I guess each um, president has his own issues and you just need to bring them forth because they're listening. Each president is chosen for um by this nation to protect and serve its people i have great confidence in each president that they appoint because when i look when i see history i see how each president was dedicated to his purpose and how much they accomplished during their term and everything. Um, you know, if you remember that America is founded upon the scriptures, each law is designed to point us to the Ten Commandments of God, found in Exodus 20. There are three races that we know of, white, African, and Asian, basically. There are four blood types that we know of, A, O, B and AB. Um, there are four types of skins that we know of is dry, normal, oily, and combination. There are four types of mental illnesses that we we know of and the first one is clinical depression the second one is mania the third one is schizophrenia and the fourth one that the term that we coin is bipolar um I wanted to lay down the facts that, um, like, people were telling me, ooh, be scared because defects is corrupted and defects is bad. So, 
you know, you your child is probably dead or or something. Um I really don't feel that way because why would they allow uh workers into defects that are dangerous and also how could they allow our children to be adopted by questionable characters without a thorough background check or whatever Am I supposed to live in constant, utter fear of my only child's life? Am I to be bombarded 24-7 till my dying day by bondmen? Or people who um, are not sane. Like, I am really, really overcome with worry and just distraught right now. Can't even sleep. I'm praying to God and um, writing letters and all kind of stuff. It takes a village to raise a child, but, but also, how are we to fight this flood from the serpent's mouth that is trying to take our children away from us? I mean, I can't do this alone. I definitely need help. I definitely pray to God, the Father. For help, I definitely do my part. I really can't understand even what's going on right now, but I just have to trust in the Lord and everything. Our children are a gift from the Lord. Um, I think when the Bible talks about God giving and taking away, he's talking about talents. Children are not talents. They are our heritage. Talents would be things like money, You know, material goods, a great and high position of a job or something. I am getting so sleepy, but um, I felt I need to unburden my heart here. I, I'm just missing my child right now. Well, anyways, I hope everyone has a happy new year. Good night, everybody.